Hi there, this is Evo at the Velvet Overlook Recording Studios in Tilburg, and welcome to this first installment of D-Touch Tips and Tricks. Today I'm going to show you something very simple but handy. If you're like me and you want to be able to touch your OS X interface, then you're going to need to have D-Touch running. Um, now, the easiest way to do that is to have it as a login item. If you don't know how to do that, you just go to System Preferences, and then in Users and Groups, you have this tab here called Login Items. Now, as you can see, I already have D-Touch for Pro Tools version 1 added here. Um, but um, if you want to do that, you just add, you, you hit that plus button, and then it opens your Applications window, and just choose the application you want to be, um, you want to uh, have started at Login. Um, now, currently this Pro Tools window is, or this D-Touch window is, uh, is visible. If you don't want that, you can hide it. Uh, but, of course, as soon as you start Pro Tools, you're going to need to uh, push some buttons on that window. So you're going to need it again. Um, I'm going to try it, for instance, um, for a while and see if I like it hidden. Uh, it's a bit cleaner. Um, so uh, next time I, uh, I start my computer, uh, it will be running, uh, but this window will be minimized. So there you go. There you have it. This is super easy, very handy, if you want to be able to touch your... Um, touch your software outside of Pro Tools, this is the way to do it. Alright, see you in the next D-Touch Tips and Tricks.